And we're we're live. Okay. Two to two. I'm gonna go get the stream thing and send it to uh, the chat. Alright, it's there, do to do. Oh. Oh. So, there we go. My, my cats are just annoying the shit out of me right now. Annabelle, go over here. <laughs> Hi, Panini. <laughs> They're so loud right now. Hi. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, so I'm just... So the link works, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Ugh, sitting up. Okay, Annabelle's laying down in her little spot. And I don't know what Penny is up to. I'm just waiting. For a few people to get in the stream, I, I just see the demi fiend staring at me. He's like, "Bitch, when are you gonna put me back in the system?" <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "I see you've been playing Mario All Stars." I was just laughing. You're like just all in stream, and it gets so ridiculous <laughs> so quickly. Like when I counterattacked and killed Dante. <laughs> Alright, kitty. Alright. Alright. I'm ready to hit the button. The button. I push A button. Seven three eleven p.m. Detention center visitors room. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dark place as this. It's really quite moving. Not you, stinking Larry. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fall on Miss May. No, oh, not really. There's something I want to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Oh. <laughs> Haven't you done enough, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask me then, hmm? Holy shit, this two face bitch. Kitty, what are you doing? My cat is being a fucking spazoid right now. <laughs> oh, now you're just chilling. <laughs> Now she's laying down. That's just funny. <laughs> it turns how does she go back to get back to so totally whacked? Why did you put the wiretap in my phone? Why? Oh, you say it like it's 
Oh, uh, when you say it, like, that sounds so cold. So criminal, um, having people's phone is a crime with me. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school. Creep. It was impossible to talk to. Who would have guessed? You got an echo thing. Yeah, it's the fan. It's definitely the fan of what you're hearing. Or the TV's a little loud. In front of the TV. Your attitude. Say, hey, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom Fiend's come second lawyer. Bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Look at her face. I love how fast she, she becomes a JoJo character. Welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, 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 not at all, sir. Your efforts take can only help to get wars rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can try to pray for the room for it. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. This thing hasn't been charged with murder. I, I too, will become famous. Of the one who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you're on the lookout. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Ah, oh, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the door of the terror hiding in place of the murderer's wire tail. That's become one of the most popular attractions here. Okay, serious. I don't believe it. My brother again. I tell. Um. We plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars or anything. This is a view of a beauty I kill. Just kidding, sir. <laughs> Right, that look in his eyes said he was more than serious. Why is he even a little bit now? I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. As far as the decor, I call it the last drink before the murder. We'll be famous. Oh my god. Questions. This may, oh, her, sir. I suppose if I knew the moment I saw her, 
what you do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most successful person here is this guy. <laughs> See if that's the man who's looking for me? Ah, uh, yes. The instructor's a real lady killer. Oh my god. These are really bad puns. If you pardon the expression, I knew from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same while people carry the scent of danger. They are in full agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. We have photos of the man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, and of the subject. I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gate Water. Proves that we added a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gate Water Hotel, Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was thinking about the train trail with the hotel. I wasn't paying attention to the evidence. Okay, so that tells me I can do anything. So let's go here. Fade for a lot of offices. I'm just gonna take the day off. The detective's gun shoes nowhere in sight. The police really is a place of working over. Is there any valuable clues left? I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around though. I'm still alive. Oh, we're just straight. Blah, 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 I remember that. I the wire it now. I think I was missing now, imagine things. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing here. Pain's fucking gone. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting on the wall? Yeah, it was a painting of... I, I don't actually remember. It was a very normal painting anyhow. Line here. Something's been written in the pencil on the back. DL6 incident exhibit A. DL6 incident exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Because I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss one. We'll have to take it for now. She looks like she could be important. Yep. <laughs> I can't. I still shouldn't look at those and swap photos. I'm gonna swap them. Okay, so I can only have one of them, I guess? Hmm. Some fuck's funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. Detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. 
You know how it is. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Shout out, that's the man who checked in with us in a April, May. Firearm is in uh, evidence swearing that that's um, an epidemic. I don't know how that is. I haven't really. Yes. I was wanting to write. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Epidemic. <laughs> 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 Panini, stop scratching the door. Oh, come here. <laughs> you heard her. Mm hmm. Effa David. Effa David. Okay. Uh, I, I, okay. Just hurry up and write it. I think I can play demo to this. Oh, oh there's a, a fucking... Yeah, okay, let's move. Guess we just go to the attention center now. It's basically a written sworn statement. Alright. You again, can't you take a sit and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. Well, in this case, it's an unshaven <laughs> <laughs> but the thing you want to protect protection. Mm -hmm. If you have sold out, probably do the space and the cup. No. See? Damn. Maybe if you have some here at the time, okay. Have a look at this. Look, like I said several times, I'm not telling you. Where did you... Ah, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. It's the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. I started Miss Cooperate. Do you have proof that was him? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Right here, bitch. Can you have a look at this? What's that? The Bellboy's evidence it tells us everything he saw. This is the man you checked in with. He was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Put your heart up. This all or nothing. I had to do a little bluff. Now you're playing dumb. If indeed that's the man. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? <laughs> Even though he should have been a witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. <laughs> Why are you pumping <laughs> your fist in the air? <laughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red, white, the prison of the information gang conglomerate, blue for red, white, and blue. Really? I, I, I oh. Okay. Red, white, information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this man, what do you do with the night of the murder? I, I'm, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. It's okay, I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? That's Red White at last. Finally. At least on this guy. April couldn't have done it, that leaves him. And it takes action. Scarred is. Oh, she told us where it's at. See, I was off this. Oh, there's that painting again. Welcome, please furnish me the title of your person. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just saying, perfectly asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix, right. 
inquirably. Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant esque vocabulary? What's this guy's problem? I'm red white, so you have blue coat. Damn. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the lead of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the worldly challenge. What? What a fruitcake. Yeah, he looks like winner, right? Uh, hmm, let me guess. You are the attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So what business does a mighty lawyer have with such as myself? Yikes, this guy's arrogant near of the skeleton. What? I've nice seen this somewhere. Is this a replica? Because I have no interest in anything but originals. That's right, there is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Hmm. Impressive lineup of trophies. This is special runner of best participation, best corporate award, cooperation award, I'm sorry. Uh, special good try prize. Where's Judgment Special Kind stand out? World of the Atlas, but it's blue. Mr. White, right. oh. It's really a work of art, so probably too. It's just for you to appreciate correct. I think it's a little too. too taste just for just about anyone to appreciate. Like, it's, it's like, it's okay. Presidential. Am yeah, I? That's quite the the thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm guessing I examined everything. Employee of Blue Curve, is not correct? She was my secretary. What a shock to hear the what she has done. What she has done. Do you mean the wire stamp? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping is not in her job description. She does get her information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Benini. She opened the door somehow. <laughs> Sounds like a sure turn. Miss Main to scapegoat. I have a murder. I have a murder. Were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I still can pay attention to Monday details. Such as time and place. And motto is don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White. The Hotel Bellplay has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The Bellplay can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. He raised a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as with April May. Oh ho the police, the court, to me they are mere toys, play things for me. That doesn't sound like a psychopath at all. What? <laughs> Is Panini out of here? Oh, well, I'm streaming. Just make sure she's out of here and close the door. Thank you. All right. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, uh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I built up to the grand office you see now. Ah, uh, in case you're wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I'm Red White, a Blue Corp, and founder and CEO of Named It So. And why are you asking? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulous, is it not? Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? The big painting on the wall over there? 
I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that thing before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being... My point is simple, or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting here on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it... right? It appears you should not fully grasp the situation here. I ask again, who are you? Uh-huh, a lawyer? No, oh, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing, zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse of an attorney, Gordy Burger. What? what? Oh. Oof. Uh, uh, he, he punched me. What do you do? Charge me with assault? By the way, I welcome it. For you, who will be found guilty? What? Use my exhibition to place the course. They all do my bidding. So you say, but I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand the world beyond your compensation. Or the comprehension. Did I do? You came here from Gordy Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossberg's, yes. Then you must ask him, why is this painting of his hanging here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man could live purely for personal profit. Go on, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Yeah. Is it kind enough to see your name chatting vacate the premises? I put language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. <laughs> oh, here's such an arrogant asshole. Huh? I think you noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem! Jumping! Josephettes! She holds fat. What? How are you? What's wrong? You look so pensive like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm, I'm not seen out yet. You know what? The whole mess. Something really bothering him that much is clear. Trial. Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me at all last night. You, you see, you couldn't sleep. You, you, again, time thing. See, you couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... Me a sister, the poor girl. My boy, I owe you my things, surely. I don't know what I would have done if, if things have gone poorly for that girl. I asked before, but why did you freeze your request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Alright, Mr. Wright. No, 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 I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know why it is. So I paid Beluga for visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, that was it, my boy. You see, it's just... A big painting. There's a grassbrook, sir. There's a giant painting hanging right here the other day, was there not? The one you said had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you've noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. Wire are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. He's blackmailing you. Mr. Wire has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is barely got a proof. Very well, this may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate? What's he talking about? 
Turned out the man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue forms a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. They are on the back of the, those photographs. As you suspect, I could not stand in defense of my eye because of this. Why well, would have destroyed me if I did? Well, that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be nigh and impossible. Impossible? Why? If information ever and it gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound and able to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is the DL6 incident? What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than a starting code the police gave the case. Switching years ago now. She's a request for a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye. Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating the murder of at the behest bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. That's what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. The murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. I want to take a drink really quick. Ridiculous 
seems so normal. Hard to imagine murder took place here. I wonder if that there would be clues. I could have another look. to find the ones who made my mother blame herself in this way. Losing my pride in the family, I hold an audience with the dead. Finally, excuse me, the names of two men surface. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who stole my mother's information for riches. There was a man who stole that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune threatening and threatening coercion. His name was some darker stuff here. But we have new Grossberg. Suicides. Might throw them all to. I could use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but since the message is not yet time to change your thick skull, stop bothering me. Try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Transparent. Okay. Save just in case. Suicide of a politician. There's a buzz secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Maya. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with the word white. 
Just all right. I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You're a blackmailer. Blackmail? Not just them either. You're threatening force and hundreds of others. You're involved in all the suicide cases that me investigate. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Keep Secretary's office alone. Mr. Wrong. We'll be leaving now. Yes, sir, I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Me was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even if child support it out, Mr. White, you did it. Secretary's office. You won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please contact me to public prosecutor's office. But first, sir, one moment, please. White, that you? What are you doing for me a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I just my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The yeah, yeah, yeah. Mia case. I witnessed the murder, you see? And thus, it's a very important one. Thus, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to be in court, but of course. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right here in front of me. He's looking dazed. What could be found? What? What man? Are you even listening? The executor, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man? What? Mr. White, this is another one of those. Dear prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to fully offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Tell you, Mr. Wrong, you are a mere lawyer. As was the Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is good as so. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local law lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupidly so stupendously and now that they make me they make even you look confident. I feel pain. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, oh, Butts, Harry Butts. Right, actually. Thanks, right? And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh, well, Butts was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed the Miss Mia Faye. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Visitor's room. I can't play. It's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. What's going to set a trap for me? And the prosecution will be up. Yeah, a first Edgeworth included. As attorney, it was assigned to a state yesterday. I refuse. I had no, an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, my. Great. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. All thanks to you. I'm afraid we're in such places. What? You mean you... Explain what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does this man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me. Is there anything I can do? Um, well... Alright, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright! Huh? Leave it to me. I am Mia's sister, Joel. Lawyership runs in our blood. Wasn't it ghost powers that ran in your blood? I'd better run to the bush and pick up my- <laughs> <laughs> 
Heather <laughs> runs to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece. Okay. Then we come to the trial tomorrow. O okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Things might change yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Many think court proceeds are no longer realistic. Began a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished the day, most of the guilty verdict. I never thought I'd end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as a star witness, this is it. Tomorrow is me or him. To be continued. Okay, so I guess I'm playing as Maya now. <laughs> okay. September 9th, 5:52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look. Prosecutor Edward? I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. Weiss has said, it'll be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to take his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have in good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does why I have Judge Blackett too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty of the story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie. To avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edward. You've changed. Huh? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Uh, Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait. Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself on that night. What? Okay, let's do this. You're kind of saying the lines atonally. Totally. I, I don't know what that means. Anyway, throw it to mess up here and we'll congest it. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. You know, it's pr I'm probably a little flummy. Prosecution's ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edwards, your opening statement, please. Seals of men are quite clear to the court. Today, we are to hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call the witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edwards why his witness didn't testify before? It's like it's like he already knows why. And then can we raise objection about this? I suppose this one. Raise objection. Mr. Edwards, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Bay? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry, Mr. White is a busy man besides. At the time I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edward. I appreciate your demeanor. This is bullshit. 
Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Please state your full name. I wish to know the title of my... I'm not reading all this aloud. <laughs> look how I, look how I glitter. <laughs> Alright, your name. I guess that's what I said. Oh dear. To my... Locations confused. Name! These two are great together. My name is Red White. My friends call me... Blanco Nino? Present Fulport. Did you know the victim missed me a fade? That would be negatory. No, I did not. Yes. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem, why did I tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White, you may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony part, I'm done for. But do I feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the way I'm standing? Oh, oh, oh. oh, I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Blair. Let him have it, Phoenix. Oh, she's just there. Let's see, it was about 9 p.m., I believe. I was quietly, uh, for use to find her the reading to, you know, some papers by the window. Then I heard a, a bedlam coming from outside. Surprise! I turned to look at the building across the way. Then I saw him, a spiky haired man taking a woman with long hair. He used to say the man was younger than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called the Miss May over at once. She was she too was fly for gas, of course. The victim, she she ran away. But you gave days. Finally, there was a terrible impaction that was all over. The things occurred as you decided that my friend the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. But this makes no sense to do in a court of law. <laughs> you believe? How do you know what the time was? Because I'm always absolutely positively perfect, you know? No, 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 you're, you're not getting away with that. You're so mistrusting, Mr. Blair. But what was the proper term for secretary again? Hey, the fate order of service at 9 p.m. What happened after the room service arrived? That's what Miss May said too. Press further. Sure, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he does say that he did not see you at the time. Ahem, this is your concern? So, Lord, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course you could not see me. You need to actually vision to pull something off like that. Hmm. Tell us. What were you doing at this, that time? Right. By window, you mean the one directly across from Faye and Company's law offices? Correct. This is the only window. You, that is the only window you see. And there you were reading papers. Correct. Gateway Water is a business hotel and a busy man who had business to do. What, what purpose is I don't know. <laughs> no, it's just... Because you could just go to your office, you probably could just go home. It's like, what would you need to go to a hotel for? It, it, uh -huh. That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> like, we know he's the guilty man, but it's just like... But like, sitting here like as like an attorney sort of thing, or trying to like look at the facts, like that doesn't fucking make any drop of sense. Like, why would you waste money going to a hotel if you're really not traveling? Because your business is clearly like in the same city. That's the impression I get at the very least. So you have this guy going to a hotel from work with a secretary. First of all, you wouldn't share a room with your secretary unless you two are sleeping together. It's just, this is not how that works. 
so there's also the matter of why the fuck are you in a hotel? Like you're you're already like filthy rich. You'd probably like live in a mansion or some like studio. What is it? Fucking uh, studio apartment. Like you'd probably be in like one of those two places. Cause like it's either you need a nice apartment, but you don't want it super big, but big enough. Decent living and some good privacy, but it's like, why are you in a hotel? Hey, hey, Bedlam, it must have been when you attacked, I assume. Let me see, continue. Surprise, I turned to look at the building across the way. So, you're reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I know Snoop, peeping out the window at night. No Snoop, yeah, right. He made a career out of snooping. It was nice on a spike haired man taking him on the long hair. Spike haired? Maybe that man was not here to do this earlier. It just a directly contradicting this made sense to Moe. I said clearly say the same looked like a girl. I wasn't proud of my eyesight, Mr. Boyer. Just what is your eyesight? I think both eyes 40. 40, don't add them together, it's 2020. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, who says there's the judge in any way? And what did you do then? I called Miss May over and she too was surprised of course. What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on TV and was waving openly. Did you know that she had been tapping the face off his phone? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer to the lawyer's cold inquiry. This man is acting alone when she tapped the phone of the Fay of the Spay woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. The victim, she, she ran away but you face. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, come for a day, I understand. He was attacked by you and then so he gave chase and you struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I'm always as a positively perfect. Perhaps you could change your testament to our flight with new detail. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I'm intent to say it. I am as a positive person with perfect end of story. Almost I hear that. Phoenix? Doesn't something about that strike is a little odd. Yeah, that's incorrect. Okay, let's see. Um, impactation. Do you, don't you mean just impact? Ridiculous. Well, oh my god, he doesn't know English well. I think you need to brush up on your language skills. On second thought, perhaps I better leave this whole language thing alone. The average part this guy too, I wonder. Anyway, I better find a weakness in there. Damn it, I meant to push it right. <sighs> Alright. Yeah. Quite right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that doesn't kind of Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh ho ho! It is simple, you haven't misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim was here. The victim ran to the left as he claimed she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? 
Oh, that's the face I wanted to see. Very strange. I just hear it runs to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about that one. Oh, it's almost like he's seeing it left from his point of view as if he struck her down or something. Wink, wink. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he really just see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Right? Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says you're right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. Ha! Huh, I doubt it. Or rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain this conflicting account. What? Obviously, the witness was not was not viewing the crime from the hotel. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of the Fay and Company, of course. Yes. More specifically, he was standing there. To show the court. This is where he was. But when the victim ran to the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes in the old days. This is where the killer was standing. That's the fucking point. What a brilliant deduction, Edgeworth. Must have really... Yes, yes. Must have really went to law school to figure that one out. And I'm disturbing the order of the court will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are your suggestions? Rep Scandillion. He does not know how to speak. The postulation of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Oh ho! The friend is so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing. The moment made me remember something. Let me take a drink. My throat is like super dry feeling. Here's the- I have been unclear for that, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your advice testimony. Good luck, you can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. <laughs> she ran to the left. This testimony was correct, as was mine. When you saw the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That's what, what I saw. Next, with the witness, with the lesser restraint, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That's what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Do you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure hmm, that does seem to make sense. Yeah, we'll cross examine because I kind of have to. Hold on, I'm not presenting evidence just yet. Two. I'm concerned sort of just like I'm pretty sure. I hit once, but it also doesn't say it in the report. What do you mean by that? That's what I am going to explain. 
You and America are so patient. It doesn't have become real. Hey, buddy, you're an American too. Amir saw the girl she first ran to love. What do you mean first? First, this is what. <laughs> This is what comes before what happens next. You do speak English, right? Please sit back, relax. I will try to use simple words for your benefit. First, you ran to left, and then... You're savage like that is what I love. I didn't hit anyone. I don't know, Mr. Wright. There's no point in hiding things before it. I'm not hiding anything. Brother, you requested the sense of strength from the other people this morning. Mr. Ray, you have been warned. Why are they mad at me? Other strength are in the way. What do you mean next? Okay. Oh, final blow. Stop saying it was me. But it was you. Mr. Wright, if you find that it's not you, then you can show us proof. Can I do nothing? Alright, nothing. In this maze, So each is a different part. That's the bus. Blah, blah, blah. Where do you think of that annoying phrase? Okay, I'm moving along. So you're watching both times. I suppose I was. Who's excuse me for not testifying to this sooner? What do you think, Phoenix? I think we got him right where he, we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh it out. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. Same hand, the wording, it's like, mmm. It's like you wouldn't hit her in the same place perfectly. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Uh, uh I was right. No chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told the court that you're at the positively perfect? Hmm. I will refrain from using that phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you agree to as the witness for your testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he's lying. I empathetically request that there is no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Very well, leaving the court is against the man. <laughs> but the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White. Oh, okay. He's not a good liar. The tears down. Really not. Um, well, let's see. I looked at the other window when I heard the thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Oh man, then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Whop. It's a whop indeed. Very well. Here we begin the cross examination. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I looked at the other one when they heard the fall. You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, uh, that, uh, 
That glass light stand. Great. The fallen over at the scene. Phoenix. Doesn't something about the strike is odd? Yeah, very odd. Mr. White. Huh? What? what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Change your testimony, then change your testimony to reflect that. But sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, of course. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. The glass stand was lying on the floor. That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? What? Why? Me? Well, I was instructed not to. Wait. One moment, give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I'm so, so confused. I spawn apart. Yes. Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgering any further. But Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. That turns on the ropes. Very well, the witness may continue to the count. For the next one, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Miss Mia. Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? But no, 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 no. Triple no. How, how would I? How could I? No one said, well, I say nothing out about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Mr. White, I'll not have you hearing the witness. You're looking a little flustered, Edward. <laughs> the killer, you, you attacked her, but she dodged. Now, before you said that... She was hit before she ran. It, yes, I must have been confused. But don't worry, we all know what happened now. She turned her into the door. How did she what did she, what did you do then? I gave chase of course. What? <laughs> no! No, not me, that the, the killer I mean. He gave chase. Mr. White, please try to remain calm. You just fucking admitted to it! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mr. Wright, he was only trying to flush your face like you just- Oh, alright. Thank you, Miles. Single blow. Wow. Wow. That doesn't sound like a savage attack from your earlier testimony. Oh. Yes, well, I am a man of peace, you see. Phoenix? He's getting a lot less talkative. Probably afraid I'll catch him or um, I'll catch him on something. But it won't be easy. I don't know how you'd see the light stand from the window. You can't. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to Oh, I was right! See the glass stand. Oh, what? <laughs> Look at this. Did I before the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. I heard a look through the window at the office. This is the area that we've been able to see here. Well, now that the stand is not within the visible area, well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Uh, 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 ridiculousity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that is from inside the law fay offices. Fay law office. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Mr. White? Mr. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I... I miss Mia. Looks like we're about to get our verdict. 
That's far enough, Phoenix Ray. What? Forgot how this works. Mr. White. I think there's coming. Should you confess your crime now, hmm? But what? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? Order, order. Mr. Ed, explain to the court what you mean by this. Secret members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Port Corp. He ordered his secretary to April May to catch the losses of Miss Bay. What does they have to do, Your Honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Bay's office. Am I correct? Correct. You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached. Let me just breaking in and entering illegally and wiretapping. Okay. This is when I saw the cursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Better your honor. Mr. Phoenix has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White near the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time White could have seen the stand. The very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would like you to believe... Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it's a fact that Mr. Wright has been to that office well before the murder took place when he went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass stand then. There you go, Mr. Phoenix Theory is revealed for the basic conjecture is... Is breaking and entering a wiretap is still much lesser crime than murder? Yes, even still, it's still a fucking crime. Especially a law firm, that's even very much more illegal. Oh yeah. Because that's actually tampering with the law at that point. That's like three fucking crimes. You'd, you'd go to jail, that's like easily ten years. Like, that's like three things at once. <laughs> Ahem, leave it to me. Uh, I, I feel faint. The wire has been... At the beginning of September, the week before the murder, I had entered the Bay and Company Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That's when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident, and this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Correct. That is right. I see very well. Mr. Ray, you may cross-examine. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Do you have proof? They put me into the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation to prove that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Alright. I've entered. Was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? My deadly finger from several days old work on in Bay Company Law Office. Those are actually Mr. White. And if I know Edward, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Bay Company Law Office. First, I've done. So to place the wiretap. Why did you hit my phone? Because there's no bearing in the current case, Your Honor. Look towards the detective agency of sorts. 
They're responsible to protect client confidentiality by invading other people's private lives. That's when I saw this glass light stand. Why did Nelson lose an actress of a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. Quite stylish. So I guess it made a less impression on me. Such a beautious thing. Deserves attention, does it not? That's all. Damn, there's nothing there for me to press them on. Oh well. Maybe you're real enough that I can pull some in from them. Sure, like what to submit. Like I'm, I'm kind of looking at the wire tab thing because, like, well, it's in this maze hotel room. Hmm. This is just, I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Time has come pretty much to feet, but honorably. I give it up. Phoenix? Phoenix! Over here! Yeah! Never give up, Phoenix! Yeah! Where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Alright, I lost the trail. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're you're finally awake. Ah. So, hey, hey, Phoenix. Yeah, there's no way to greet an old friend, Phoenix. I want you to look at me. Here, Maya. Don't you know that Bayo has strong psychic powers? When you accept your defeat in court, it appears that there is enough of shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia? That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up, you can either. I like how her chest just got bigger for no reason, just sprung out just because she no her reason. sister. It makes no sense. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense, but they're doing it anyways. I can't tell you, but we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won, huh? You have that rest re receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh yeah, the one that wrote my, um, Phoenix, Wyatt wrote that, not me. So what do I do with it? Look at the front of the rest receipt. That, the front... The regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. <laughs> wow, big thunder. Item, glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th? That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? Began the time the week before the murder. He said he's not saying the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court's about to reconvene. Got it. Phoenix, you know you're innocent. Now you have to prove it. Right. Okay, so I was supposed to get this event to trigger, I guess. Yeah. We're allowed trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. As a defendant, brother, are you alright, Mr. Wright? 
Yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination Mr. White's finished. Well, what's required now is that you pass judgment on the defendant fix right. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edwards has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edwards, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give this Mr. Green his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. the word mire written in blood. Oh. You're grasping. Oh, I presented to the wrong thing, then I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side. Your Honor. Would you tell the court what's written on the other side of the receipt? Well, a glass lighting stand and the day of the purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White. When you allegedly entered the Bay and Company law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. <laughs> well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. I'm not trying to pronounce those words. Or, um, uh, lack of them. Well, Your Honor. I understand that this must be quite a lot of pressure on you. And then you agree that you can't judge me as guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Objection. Not so fast, Phoenix, right? Eh? What? No way, he could worm his way out of this. Oh wait, I forgot, he took the edge of work. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no guarantee for that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one day, one more day with the Phoenix Wright's parents' freedom. And I tend to make one less inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry, this isn't going to be another one of those update on top two reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to put on trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, if I was going to call Mr. White's trial, it would be me, the prosecution. Maybe you do isn't whether these new plans have any base in factual evidence. Hmm, I see. Objection denied. What? Please show Mr. Strange will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there is no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. I'm not sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. The witness will stay. Mia? Phoenix? Read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Here's a memo with the people's names and Mia's handwriting. Alright, if I may, you're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is writing on this one. I have something I'd like to read to the court. The moment Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sound strangely familiar. People in the finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Please halt! Please stop! Make him stop! How, how did you get this list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I, I confess, I confess, 
I did it. I did her. I hit Miss Mia Faye with the thinker. Case closed your honor. Look at Edgeworth, like, what the fuck? Well, I see no reason to this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor? You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Literally, you had the fucking dead to help you out. <laughs> yes, your honor. I guess you could say that if only you knew how spirited it was. Well, the court finds a defense. I have rather the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. Not guilty. Okay, I'm just looking at the thing really quick. The jail. That's all the courts adjourned. Ripple thing. Two, September 9th, 2.24 p.m. District Court Defense Lobby, number one. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I'm looking at both of you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. There is a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live. My time here is running out. Oh. Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. But, but no, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief. <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight? Say 9 o'clock. The office? I'll see you there. I'll see you later. Chief. Mia. September 9th, 9.02 p.m. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. Who came? Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? <laughs> you should see her face. Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Uh, Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Looks like you were her. I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix. Try to start and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya. Why are you here? Because of this. See, Maya wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of- huh? So, she means the office- this office? Hold on. Oh, I can't go back. <laughs> You better with me, my affair, reporting for duty. Right now, on second thought, let me make this casual. Yo, Nick, my here, ready to get down to business? You don't mind me calling me Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you, Nick. You know what that means, we're partners. You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Try and company law office. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Alright, okay, Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on! Time's a wasting. Okay, wait up. Uh, 
Alright, that's the end of that episode. Ooh. Turnabout Samurai, oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not starting another episode. Oh no. Yeah, I told myself, it's like, no, I'm not pushing myself more than I agreed to. Um. Next. 500 chapters later. There's not that many. I read the wiki. There's like only 14 in this game. Oh, uh, but I read that the fifth chapter is like very long, apparently, so I'm like, oh boy. Um, yeah. That, like, it usually sounds like a four parter. I'm just like, there, there's there's no way I'm doing, like, another episode right now. You're, you guys are fucking crazy if you think I will. <laughs> like, he's saying I sound tonally, which I'm guessing means I sound monotone as shit right now. Okay. And I'm just like, I, I don't really have it in me to constantly enunciating things. Enunciating, enunciating, enunciating. Yeah, and I only said I was finishing episode two. So, yeah, we're done tonight. Okay. There was probably like only three people that popped in or something. And it only tells me there's like one active watcher, so I'm like, okay. It's like mm. doing this for you guys and no one's even showing up. <laughs> um. So, yeah, good night. Oh.